and I banish you, technology. There's no place for you in the early years. No more screen time. It's green time. Guys, guys, it doesn't have to be like this. There's room for both of you in the early years. <gasps> That's the intro. <laughs> Hi, I'm Julia. I'm a level three qualified practitioner and an early education editor here at Family. First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. Tech in the early years is a divisive topic. People have really strong feelings about when and how children should access technology, especially tech that's connected to the internet. There are specific pedagogies that avoid technology, and there's a movement towards promoting an unplugged childhood. Both parents and educators have understandable fears about safety when using technology, be it a risk of being exposed to inappropriate material, dangerous people, or just doing nothing but staring into a screen all day. But the thing is, as early as educators, we allow children to take risks. Based on age, needs, or abilities, we encourage children to use tools like hammers and saws. We support them to climb trees. We recognize the benefits of activities like building a fire and cooking something. And why? Because teaching children to assess and manage the risks of something while embracing the benefits and learning opportunities of that thing is the best way we can teach children how to safely access that thing. So why is it so different for technology? Here are three things to think about when you're thinking about technology in the early years. Firstly, make it safe. Supervised use of technology means we can support children to use tech safely, moderately, and for positive reasons. Just as with any activity or tool with inherent risk, using technology means taking measures to assess and mitigate what could go wrong. For example, teach children about safe use of electricity, including risks around power strips, plugs and sockets. Always keep batteries out of young children's reach and talk to older children about how to use them and dispose of them safely. And ensure you have parental controls and safe search enabled on your internet ready devices. This is especially important if you're using tablets or laptops for researching topics with children. And talk to children about being aware of what's around them when using technology. We know screens can be captivating, and I can't be the only one who's walked into something while distracted by their device. Also, make sure you have ongoing discussions with children about how to use technology safely. Plenty of children you look after will have access to technology and the internet at home, and may not have such tight supervision, which is also a great reason to include parents in these discussions too. The NSPCC have some amazing resources that you can share with families to help you keep children safe with technology. We'll add the link in the description. Most importantly though, children need to know who they can confide in if they see something online that confuses or upsets them, be it you or their parents. Removing the taboo around tech can help because if children feel like they might get into trouble for using a device when they weren't supposed to or for something they weren't allowed to do, they mightn't feel they can say if something goes wrong. All that being said, instead of technology just being an unfortunate fact of life that we have to accept and therefore teach children about, why not flip that narrative on its head? Because technology doesn't have to be a danger to be understood, or mean endless doom scrolling on social media, or hours of playing Minecraft. Do children still play Minecraft? <laughs> She's just saying all that because she works for family. Can't use a digital platform if you're not using tech. Yes, I can see family, of course, have a vested interest in early year settings using technology. But if running family is all you use those tablets for, you could be missing out. Technology is what allows us to access pretty well all the knowledge in the world. It allows doctors to look inside our bodies to see what's wrong, gives us mobility aids, supports communication, enables us to experience our reality from the microscopic to distant galaxies. In fact, technology saves and enriches lives every day. I'll bet you're even using technology right now. How does she know? Of course, a variety of resources in your enabling environment is essential, especially open-ended resources that encourage children to use their imagination to play with. But why not incorporate technology too? We 
spoke to Tim Lings, the director of IT at Heronsgate Primary School, and he said, children are interested in tech. In the early years, we say, you're interested in trains? That's fine. Or you're interested in playing in the sand? That's great. But if you're interested in playing with technology, we say, oh, can't do that. Use of technology means following what children are interested in. Technology doesn't necessarily mean being sedentary or excessive screen time. Okay, so my passionate monologue may have warmed you up to technology in the early years a little bit, but what can you actually do with it? Well, the first thing to know is that incorporating technology doesn't mean being sedentary. Sure, there are great apps for children to use or videos to watch, but there's so much more to it than that. We spoke to Linda Baston Pitt about the role of physical activity in the early years, and she recommends making a physical activity policy so everyone is on board with the importance of movement and getting enough exercise throughout the day. You can find the link in the description. Plus, you can incorporate technology into your physical activity. Use the clock app to time an obstacle course. Listen to or monitor heart rate before and then after running around. Find a new genre of music to dance to or record some exercises for children and parents to try together at home. And there's plenty of other ways to learn too. For example, why not use a translation app to learn as a class how to greet a new child in their home language? Look up the name of a bird you saw in forest school and find out what it eats. Take photos of a plant as it grows and look at the progress over time. Check the weather and talk about how it's monitored and predicted. And using technology doesn't just mean finding ways to use tablets or the internet. Our friends at Little Barn Owls in Sussex use technology like light boxes and projectors to explore light and shadow and learn in new ways. What's perhaps even more important though is incorporating technology into your curriculum means you're also teaching children and families when not to use it. For example, if you're working on sustainability, you can talk to children about switching the lights off when you leave a room. <sighs> or switching off appliances when you're not using them. Why not talk to parents about phone-free time where no one's looking at a screen? And you can discuss the importance of getting to sleep well by not using tablet and phones right before bed. Just like we all definitely don't. Do you use technology in your setting? Tell us in the comments down below. And for more early years content and practice inspiration, you can sign up to the family newsletter written by me. Bye.